Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new patch of On Showdown, the 1.6 with the new map. I think my last guide was like two years ago, so I'm going to do a, an update for this game. So first of all, write game mode in your search bar. Make sure that you're using game mode. Game mode is a lot better if you compare this year versus last year. Uh, now I'm getting more FPS. Uh, they make sure that you're using the best core on your CPU. Uh, if you had like a Ryzen processor, like two years ago, it was a mess. Uh, I, you were like using the uh, six and the seventh uh, less powerful uh, core on your computer to run the game. But now with the game mode, everything is fine. So really good. And also it removes some tasks that uh, Windows is running that you don't need to do when you play a game. So activate this. Xbox Game Bar, I recommend to deactivate this. It was causing stuttering in Unshowdown. And also, don't use any overlay. Discord, AMD, NVIDIA, whatever overlay that you're currently using. Make sure it's at off uh, because it's causing stuttering in this game. Also, all those capture feature, background recording at off, recorded audio at off. Make sure that you don't use any. Another thing that you can't use uh, if you have uh, an NVIDIA card, Series 1000 or above, more recent. Uh, something called just write graphic setting in your search bar. You will have the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure this one is at on and you will need to restart your computer. Me, I, have, uh, I just changed my video card for the uh, Radeon one. So now I don't have the op option anymore. So I can't do it on my computer. Another thing that it's really important is uh, make sure that you have the latest version of your uh, driver. So AMD or Nvidia. And if you have a Radeon, um, video card i will show you something i have a dedicated video talking about it but um in this game in on showdown my minimum frequency uh, my maximum frequency was always like uh 1400 something like that and i was not getting a lot of fps with my 6900 xt so now when you put your minimum frequency at something like 2400 something like uh, less than 150 megahertz less than your max frequency uh, it will help you a lot because the game will make sure that you always boost at 2428 i said the game but it's more like your driver your video car will always boost at this and it gave me straight up 35 percent more fps uh it's like when i play the game it's like my video card doesn't know like i'm playing a game so i'm getting some weak boost clock because uh, I don't know, they're, they're thinking I, I ju I'm just in Windows watching some video or whatever. So when you uh, set that, it will help you a lot with this game. And I have like, the same uh, pattern with uh, League of Legends. So if you have that, this issue, go with a minimum frequency that you can set in your Radeon software. So last thing is the energy plan, right? Power plant, go to your power option. Make sure that you're using something like balance or high performance to make sure that everything is at max. Don't use power saver, eco mode or, or whatever option that you currently have on your desktop or laptop computer. And you're going to make sure that you're using uh, the proper energy power. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, first of all, the resolution, make sure that you're playing native. Me, I'm using a 2K monitor, so that's why I'm using 2K here. If you have like a 1080p monitor, make sure that you're playing in 1080p. Window mode. This one always use full screen. I was losing and I was getting some random stuttering in borderless. So that's why I'm not using borderless. So really important to use full screen. Render resolution scale go with 100. If you have some issue with your 60 FPS after my guide, you can lower a little bit your resol resolution scale to something like 95 or 90, but don't do don't go too, sorry, too crazy with this one. Uh, your image quality will degrade a lot and you everything will be blurry. So it's not recommended to go under 90 over here. So let's scroll a little bit. Uh, object quality. This one is a bit like the render uh, scale. Um, don't go with I. Me, I'm playing with I because, you know, I want more FPS, but also I want to have an advantage versus my enemy. So I want to see everything. But this one, you will lose 3% for each bracket. So if you are, you're playing on a low-end computer uh, or a laptop, something like that, go with low with this one. If you just want like the most F FPS with advantage, with like render scale and stuff like that, go straight up with I. 
Texture quality, this one, go with I if you have like 4 gig of VRAM and more. Uh, you can definitely play at I. Uh, 3 gig go with medium and less than 3 gig go with low. Pretty much the same thing with the uh, texture filtering. So if you have more than 4 gig, you can do 8 or 16x. 3 gig go 6 and 4 or 2 gig and less 2 or 1. anti aliasing I recommend to remove this one. If you compare the SMA8 2TX versus off, you can get a nice 8% boost in your FPS. And anti-aliasing in this game, uh, it's not really good, honestly. Everything is blurry, so you don't see properly. So I really recommend to remove it. Lighting quality, this one, put this one at low. Uh, for each bracket, you can get a nice 2%. 2% to medium, 2% to low, so a nice 4% total. Shadow quality, I like to put this one at medium. You can get a nice amount of FPS. Honestly, it's like 3% for each bracket. So again, if you're playing on a low-end computer, go with low. But me, I like medium because uh, when I don't know, like when I go in the building and stuff like that, sometimes I'm using a shadow to see if someone is there. So that's why I'm going with medium with this one. Effect quality and post-processing quality, those ones, now we can put this one at off. I was surprised because uh, I think in back in the days it was just low. So both go with off. Uh, if I compare I to off, you can get a nice 5% boost here in your FPS. In post-process qu uh, quality, you can get another 4% boost in your FPS over here. Particle quality, you have three uh, different brackets. I recommend low for, the, for this one. You will gain like a nice 2-3% to boost in your FPS. But it's more like when you're fighting, you see explosion and stuff like that. It will help you a lot. If you were getting like some random drop when you were playing the game, this one will help you a lot. I recommend to use performance stats to see whatever your FPS and ping. So just make sure that when you're lagging, it's not necessarily your computer. It can be your ping. And also when you modify stuff, you want to see it. Does it help with your FPS or not? I don't recommend to use VSync. Uh, uh, VSync create the input lag. If you're getting a big amount of tiering, you can definitely use it if you don't like uh, tiering. But uh, a lot of people now have like FreeSync and G-Sync monitor. So uh, don't check that. Just use your FreeSync or G-Sync on your end. I recommend to unlock your FPS at maximum. And make sure that depth of fill and motion blur are unchecked. Uh, for FPS, sorry, uh, me, I'm locking my FPS to the uh, FreeSync range. So for me, my monitor is maximum 170 Hz. So I'm putting my uh, FPS at 168 but I don't have this option here, so that's why I'm locking my FPS with my Radiant software. One more thing, you have the advanced setting. I don't recommend to use surface format optimization and the toggle GPU tessellation. You will lose a couple of FPS, but uh, I'm using the two-pass scene rendering and the two-pass uh, lighting. First of all, you will see more clear in your game, but also it, it was causing me artifact and some weird stuff when I was uncheck, unchecking those two options. So that's why I'm using them. So this is pretty much it guys for the graphic parameter. It really depends what you want to do if you just want your 60 and you're struggling to run the game or you more like want like a nice amount of FPS but also have an advantage on your enemy because you want to see further and stuff like that. The new map, I want to talk about it. Uh, I'm getting some random drops in some places. For sure, they will need to optimize it. And also, I feel like the Crytek engine is not well optimized with Radian card. Because I was doing some comparison between my 6900 XT versus my 2070. And I'm, I don't like my performance with my Radian card in this game. In other games, it's really amazing. But in this game, something is wrong. Even when, when I put my minimum frequency at 2400. So anyway, if you have a Radian card, you can comment the, on the uh, video. To tell me if you have like some special trick with it but it's not that great so if you have any question about the video guys just come in, in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace